Yeah, I know this sounds dramatic, but in this case, Silver actually did save someone's life. We'll talk about that and so much more as we explore. When we think about silver and saving your life, well, most of us think about it in a financial sense or in a monetary sense. Silver indeed has been money for thousands of years and it figuratively can save your life in terms of your finances, even if the price of silver falls. I'm gonna do sort of a market report here before I get into the meat of this story because silver is rebounding a little bit after three days of falling prices. It is now up to $30.62, up 14 cents moments before the market closes. And that's good news because we're seeing it hold on to that crucial, important, psychological $30 mark. And I think that's wonderful to hear. So it's not a massive increase in silver's price, but indeed it does mean that, you know, silver is holding its own. But, you know, I think a lesson we can learn from silver is that the metal is very volatile in the marketplace, such as we saw last week, it fell for three days in a row. Uh, you know, it did get up to $32 and about 33 cents for its uh, high that we've seen. And then it pulled back to uh, below 31. That's what we're seeing now. But you think about it, even if you buy silver and the price falls and it continues to fall, well, think about where your money can go, where it would, where it would just be completely wasted. In other words, you spend money on, on something, a frivolous thing, or even a not so frivolous thing. You've got nothing to really show for it in a financial sense down the road. In other words, you've lost all the money. You may have gained an experience and there's something to be said for that that's priceless in that regard. Uh, but in terms of a financial sense, uh, the money is gone. And, and maybe you have just a memory of the event that you attended or what have you, or the meal that you ate. You know, there's a lot of things. Americans are famous for wasting money. No question about it. And of course, some people, some critics of silver would say that silver is a waste of money. Uh, and if silver keeps losing price as opposed to value, and that understanding the difference is crucial here, but uh, if the silver loses price, you have lost some money with silver. Uh, that is quite a possibility. But the silver lining to a falling silver price is that you haven't lost all of your money. It is a savings vehicle outside of the current system from which we find ourselves apart. To me, that speaks volumes about silver's value um, as a proposition that if I needed to sell this silver, I could and I could sell it fairly easily. Of course, right now, with the silver spot price being up, likely I would get under spot for every single piece here, except for maybe the eagles I might get spot price for, um, or maybe a little bit more, who knows. But uh, that is the world we live in. Um, it's a fluctuating market, and holding precious metals, holding silver, especially as a metal that has really struggled to keep up with where gold is, which is why the gold to silver ratio is so high. In fact, right now it's sitting at almost 77 to one. But uh, silver can figuratively save uh, your livelihood. Uh, and in terms of your your financial sense, and, and also it teaches you, I think stacking silver uh, teaches you to literally uh, pack away savings in the form of a metal that has been utilized as such as a monetary metal for thousands of years. But uh, in this particular case, you know, we're gonna try to link everything together with a chain, that's right, back on the chain gang here, because this is where things get interesting. We're talking about the literal sense in this case. That's right, pretty remarkable how a silver has saved a Colorado man's life, literally, from a bullet. It's insane, but that's exactly what happened. You know, most of these uh, silver chains here, this one here is silver plated, and very well could be that the one uh, that he was wearing was silver plated too. But uh, yeah, it's pretty remarkable. The life of a Colorado man uh, was apparently saved when a bullet fired at his neck and during an argument became lodged in his silver chain necklace, according to The Guardian. Uh, a news release of the 
Commerce City Police Department included a photograph of the mangled, blood-stained necklace the man was wearing. Uh, it gave few other details about the incident, but stated that a suspect has been arrested at the scene and charged with attempted murder. And uh, the, uh, the police statement said that the man's escape was just incredible. Now, a chain like this, and this is probably close to the, the size of the chain, although it's a different design. I'll actually post a link to this article um, in the description below. In fact, I'll probably do it through the, um, through the Daily Mail, uh, which goes in a little bit more detail on this. We'll, re re we'll reference this one here now. Uh, we'd say he really dodged a bullet, but in reality, he lodged a bullet, the police said of the victim. The silver chain, approximately 10 millimeters in width, is likely the only reason the victim of a shooting we responded to yesterday is still alive. The 22 caliber bullet was fired during an argument and would have ended up in the victim's neck had it not instead become lodged in the chain he was wearing. As a result, he suffered only a puncture wound. It's only a flesh wound, only a puncture wound he received. And indeed, the image is mind-blowing to see that bullet stuck there. Now, obviously, if it would have been a larger caliber, it would have uh, probably broke through the necklace and just went right through him. But indeed, a 22 caliber round is not nearly, it doesn't have the velocity and or the uh, stopping power that a larger caliber like a um, 9 millimeter or 40 uh, caliber bullet would. Uh, it comes just over a month after a Long Island man was saved in a shooting after a bullet struck him in his wallet. So yes, indeed. So there you go. Who would have thought that even cash could save you? Of course, it was protected by the leather of the wallet or a material of the wallet and likely a formation of other bills. But you know what? A little silver chain does a much better job in my view. Suffolk County Police said the man was shot in an apartment complex in Quran in the morning of April 17th, and he avoided injury as a result. This is regarding the wallet shooting. Uh, an unknown person fired several shots into a vehicle located in the intersection of Homestead and Grant Court inside the Homestead Village Complex. So it kind of goes along, uh, goes into that story. But what uh, an interesting and intriguing thing here to see how this uh, these evidence photographs show this. Of course, there's blood on the necklace too. Uh, you'll be amazed when you see the, the pictures of this. Uh, but uh, yeah, who would have thought silver can literally save your life? And no hyperbole here. It literally did. Because you think about it, you get a shot, even if it's from a twenty two caliber bullet in the neck in the right place, it hits that uh, that blood vessel in there, the carotid artery. Uh, well, you're a goner in time for sure. And there's actually other footage that shows that kind of thing where somebody was shot there and he bled out. It was crazy. Uh, but in this particular case, silver does more than just save you in a figurative sense of your finances and uh, saves your, uh, your ability to uh, protect yourself against economic instability. Um, silver also can save you literally, as is the case with this chain. Oh yeah, indeed. And I tell you what, that's a pretty amazing thing. And by the way, if you enjoy content like this, where I give you the latest news and uh, including off the wall stories like this, um, I hope you will consider uh, uh, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and pressing that like button if you find value in the content I provide here. You know, I have a playlist called Precious Metal Crimes. Now this one wasn't, uh, we'll probably go in that, in that list as well too. In this case, a crime was involved and Precious Metal actually saved the person. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's interesting. There's a lot of different things, how Precious Metals can be involved. And there's some really, really crazy out there, wacko stories in that playlist. That I hope you will check out. But uh, yeah, intriguing indeed. So Silver's price, it continues to move in a volatile direction. But I think we're starting to see a new floor for silver. And I'm excited to see where it goes into next week. I did a poll on my Sunday Night Market Watch live stream. And uh, a good majority of you, over 60%, think that silver is going to end the week higher than where it is now. And they may be on track, according to the latest numbers, with the market almost closing here. And let me know what your thoughts are on where silver is going to go. And I hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. We'd like to extend a multitude 
of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.